Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon. So, I would, I figured I would, I would do this video because think of it like a pitching idea, like me pitching ideas to the studio. You know, like as if I was in a meeting with maybe one of the executives. Uh, one of the producers, maybe, I don't know. And they need somebody to, you know, maybe give them some ideas or whatever for a brand new film. Not a remake, not a prequel, not a spin off, not a sequel, but brand new, new, new ideas. Not something that's based on a book or poem, short story, or video game. Something just totally original. So, again, think of it like that, I was saying. So, yeah, I'll make this a uh, fairly short video. So anyway, let's just go into the subject matter, of course. And I was thinking that since the princesses seem to be like a popular thing with, you know, the Disney and whatnot, I figured we could be like a princess character. And no, this could be done like maybe, I guess I'd be more flexible in some ways. It could be either hand-drawn animation, which I would prefer, or maybe CGI, which is fine. Or maybe, if you really want to go old school, clay animation. So one of the formats would be fine, I suppose. So anyway, let's just dig in, shall we? Yes, sir. -y different types of mental illnesses they could use for the overall story here and yes there'd be plenty of source material you can definitely use this with i know i know this is a pretty touchy topic but i do think it's something that hardly anyone actually uses for a story really especially animation really i do think in the right hands this could make an interesting plot, a pretty cool adventure. And no need to worry, this is not a video to make fun of anybody with any, any kind of disability. I'm not saying that, just, just so you know. But anyway, it could work if it's in the right proper hands, that is. Bipolar disorder it could be something that could be expressed in the story itself in a respectful way, of course. There could be episodes of mood swings, that could occur multiple times within the story, while most people will, of course, experience some sort of men mental, emotional sentence between episodes, of course. Some, you know, could handle it better than others, but maybe some can This could be done in such a way where the, the princess doesn't have to feel bad for having this, this thing, because it's kind of like, hey, no one's perfect, so you don't have to make the character be looked down upon just because of it. Just, you know, have a way to work around it. You could still have, you know, the fairies, you still could have the um, villain character, the sidekick type animals, all that can be still in there, of course. But, it's just trying to make things a bit more interesting, of course. A princess that could could have been in a war and whatnot, and... The whole idea behind this could be, you know, the whole sheriff's shock. That's another, some sort of, you know, mental illness that could be explored here. But again, like I said earlier, in a respectful kind of way, not to be looked about bad upon. But it could be a conflict within maybe the friends or whomever they be living with. They have to deal with that kind of a thing, like every single day almost. Maybe that's why this princess, whom or whomever her name may be, could be all fidgety, maybe short-tempered, because she recalls these horrific images in war. And, I mean, they don't have to show the images, of course, but you could heavily, heavily imply it, I guess. And, of course, all these princes could be uh, original characters, like I was saying. So, I'll be using the other princess characters as a frame of reference, so to speak. This kind of thing would be a part of the princess. And maybe there could be the storyline where it's already established that she's already falling in love with the prince and just continues from there. 
maybe you could just express that it's something they have to take care of and deal with and while you have to go with an outer conflict so to speak while dealing with with this as well let's just say that there could be a war between two two kingdoms and the story itself could just basically start like right in the middle of this heated conflict and just going at it perhaps the king could be some scumbag who just wants to take over territory or something like that anyway some sort of personality disorder could also work into play with another movie so it could take place in i don't know let's say no way like frozen is and yeah i don't mind if it takes place in the past and maybe they have to fight off a dragon while they have to deal with this sort of problem as well among themselves maybe she's already in a relationship maybe or looking for one perhaps with a loving person who accepts her so you don't necessarily have to penetrate the person like you know just accept them for who they are don't treat them no different and that could be a thing in the movie as well there could be a princess that have this kind of disorder and maybe wants to explore the world somehow maybe just starting off in the forest perhaps and she's aware that you know she has this but is trying to find a way to keep it down and maybe there could be like a evil hunt animal hunter and wants to stop him from doing his wicked things so this something could be done as well and another thing they could bring up is a uh, maybe obsessive compulsive disorder could be another interesting thing they could use as well so this uh all these stories could take place in some you know in the past that's fine i suppose but the idea here, maybe there could be a princess character with this. If done properly, this could make a pretty interesting story. And I really hope they would go into this kinds of stuff to make something brand new. So there's that. Maybe the villain in this story could be like this, this murderer that no one knows about really with a mysterious past. So maybe to complicate things even further. Maybe there's like a like uh like the day itself keeps repeating itself, kind of like what happened in this movie, so to speak. You know, if you really want to make things really interesting, I suppose. Okay, here's an addiction. It still goes along with what I was saying earlier, folks. And maybe there could be a princess that's addicted to gambling specifically, and this could cause great harm. And let's just say maybe. There's a bad guy that's a, that owns some sort of casino or something, and he realizes that he or she realizes that his princess is addicted to this kind of thing, <laughs> and plans to exploit the princess because of this, because this person is a bad person. There, there's a great sense of conflict right there. So I think this could potentially be a really good movie as well, folks. Before anybody tells me, I know there's quite a few other things I could have brought up, but just think of this like a peach meeting kind of thing I was saying earlier. So, just want to get up uh, some brainstorming ideas, suggestions out the way, I guess. As always, thanks for watching, and take care. Till next time, oh yeah.